boys and girls. Today, we are going to work on comparing whole numbers. So we're going to be using these three symbols throughout this unit. Let's remind ourselves that we have the symbol for less than, the symbol for greater than, and the symbol for equal to. Wherever the open spot of the symbol is, that's where the greater number goes to. So think about the mouth wanting to eat the greater number. That will help you remember which way it will go. Let's look at how we compare whole numbers. To compare whole numbers, we always want to look at place values because the value of a digit is going to help us determine which number is bigger. If I had the number 375 and the number 275, and I want to see which of those numbers is greater, I'm going to start looking at the highest place. My highest place is my hundreds place. The reason I'm not going to look at my ones place is because those fives do not make a difference for me to help me see which number is greater. The three in my hundreds place has a value of 300. The two in my hundreds place has a value of 200. So I know that the number 375 is going to be a larger number because the digit in the hundreds place has a higher value. So my symbol is going to be the greater than symbol. And the way I read this is 375 is greater than 275. I also want you to try underlining the digits that help you see which number is greater. Let's try another one. I have the number 2000 568 and the number 2571. Now if I look at the highest place, it's the thousands. But I have a two in both of those places. So that's not going to help me see which number is bigger. I'm going to move on to my hundreds place. And I notice I have a five in both hundreds places. So that place is not going to help me see which number is bigger. Now I'm going to move on to the tens place. In the first number, the digit 6 is in the tens place, and that has a value of 60. In the second number, there's a 7, which has a value of 70. Well, I know that 70 is larger than 60, so that tells me that the number 2,571 is larger than 2,568. So when I write my symbol, the open part will be toward the second number. And I'm going to leave my six and my seven underlined because that's the place that told me which number is larger. Let's look at this problem. My first number is 9,802. My second number is 34,768. My first number, the highest place is the thousands. But in my second number, my highest place is the ten thousands. So if I look at the first number, there's no number, there's no digit in the ten thousands place. Right away, I know that my second number is greater because it does have a digit in the ten thousands place. So for this sentence, I'm going to just underline the three in the ten thousands place, and I'm going to write my symbol that way. And I would read this as nine thousand eight hundred two is less than 34,768. And the reason I know that is because there is a three in the 10 thousands place and the first number does not have anything in the 10 thousands place. 
sometimes you might see one like this, where part of the, where one side is written in expanded form. The best way to answer this is to rewrite the number in standard form. So if I look at this, I have 3,000, then I have a number that's worth 400, and then 26. Now I can easily see what that number looks like. I'm going to do the same thing I did with comparing. My thousands place has a three and a three. That doesn't help me because they are the same digit. I'm going to move on to my next place. This number has a four in the hundreds and this number has a five. So think about what does that tell you? Which of these numbers is greater? Write that down in your notebook and put the symbol you think is correct. We should have 3,426 is less than 3,526. Let's try one more like that. Now the word, now it's in word form. We want to do the same thing though. We want to write the number in standard form. Why don't you pause the video, write both of these numbers down in your notebook, and then try to answer it on your own. You should have written the number 217. And when you saw that, you would see that it's exactly the same number as the other side. So for this one, I'm going to put 217 equals 217. Nice job. Okay, now it's your turn. You're going to answer these three in your notebook using the less than, greater than, or equal symbols. Pause the video, write these in your notebook, and answer them. Remember, whenever I answer these, I want to underline the place that helped me decide which number is greater. In number one, your thousands place should be underlined. In number two, your ones place should be underlined because all the other digits match. And in number three, your thousands place should be underlined. We're going to try one more type of problem. Take a look at this chart. You're going to pause the video and in your notebook, you are going to write the number of attendance, the people who attended the games, in order from least to greatest. Remember, you don't want to mix those up. So you're going to be putting these numbers in order from least to greatest in a list in your notebook. Pause the video and then I'll show you the answers. When I list them in order from least to greatest, I knew that 23,978 was less than 23,982 because of the tens place. Then I knew that 28,000 was larger than both 23,000s. And I can clearly see that 34,000 is the largest of all the numbers. Great job today.